Hi Aquarius, welcome. So Aquarius, this is going to be your you versus them reading. We're going to go back and forth between you and the person you may be connecting with. Keep in mind that it's a general reading, so the roles may be reversed. Feel free to flip it. My readings are timeless. I just trust that when this finds you, it's for you. So, Aquarius, let's go ahead and get into it and see what we have coming in for you. You have the card of empowerment. So, I love this as the crowning energy because this is talking about um, combining your strengths, right? The feeling in your power, getting into a space of empowerment. It also talks about um, activating a different part of you, Aquarius. Sometimes um, this card can also talk about overwhelmment. So be careful that you're not putting too much on your plate here. But this is a strong vibe to start with, which is funny because as I have cards come out, I was getting a song, and I don't know who sings it. I just know the hook is BB Rexa. She says, I don't need anything. I don't need anything. Make me feel like except this beat inside my heart. She says, I don't need anything to make me feel alive except this beat within my heart. Oh, I can't think of the next part, but I'm sure somebody will know it. But, anyways, <laughs> um. Check that song out. It may resonate with you and or um, you may actually randomly hear that song. So, all right. So you have the Ace of Wands, the Nine of Pentacles here for you, Aquarius. This is talking about having clarity, victory, um, finally feeling comfortable in your own skin or with where you're at in your life. Um, the Nine of Pentacles to me is like no matter what comes your way, you've got you, that type of vibes. Again, a very independent, like empowering type of energy coming into the reading. So person you're connecting with is the Seven of Pentacles, which talks about having a vision. Um, there's, there's something that this person wants for themselves that they have a vision about, and it may be related to the connection. Uh, may not, it just kind of depends, but it's like there's something that they're wanting to build on. And both of you kind of going into the space of empowerment, not necessarily together, but as individuals uh, energetically. However, I feel like the energies are coalescing. So it benefits the both of you when you're both kind of doing your own thing or when you're both kind of involved in your own visions, even if those visions are separate, if that makes any sense. But... Let's get into it and see, Aquarius, we're going to go into the recent past, so what led up to the now energy, how are you both perceiving each other, how do you both feel underneath it all, and the most likely spiritual outcome. So let's see, Aquarius. And it makes me feel alive, that's what she says. Some part in the song. Anyways. <laughs> All right. So you have justice here. Ten of Pentacles. Very recent past. The Ace of Pentacles. And the Knight of Swords. So Aquarius, leading up into the now, there might have been a balancing act going on um, in your life, um, just in general. Some of you to deal with finances or the home structure, but it could also be in commitments. It's just a sense of like trying to find balance between like what you desire and what you currently have going on in your life, like prior obligations and needing to reprioritize in that arena as well. But I feel like this great sense of stability coming in for you, Aquarius, and this huge opportunity for you to capitalize on whatever you have coming in in your next chapter. And I'm not just talking about relationships, although some of you, yes, a form of commitment or relationship is coming through. But for others of you, this is more to deal with you kind of planning the foundation of your own financial well-being or your own vision for yourself, even if it's not related to finances. 
and then kind of moving forward um, with the knowledge that you'll be successful because I feel like success, success is in the cards for you right now, Aquarius. Um, there could be new communication coming in as well around uh, your foundation, home, real estate, finances, career, things of that nature. And I know this is a relationship reading, right? But I can only tell you what the cards are saying. Some of you, your mind has been more geared towards that area than this connection or than the relationship um, and or it somehow folds into what's going on energetically between you and this person. So let's see then what their recent past energy is for your person Aquarius the tower the card flipped and it went back in there the tower king of pentacles This beat that's in my heart, yeah, it's keeping me alive. That's what she says. Goodness gracious. <laughs> um, King of Swords, Nine of Swords. So Aquarius, this person is going through, they've been contemplating a lot of changes, all right, um, that actually require them to change as a, almost a person, as an energetic person. See, because I feel like this person kind of got comfortable with where they were at and who they were with or what they were doing. But in the back of their mind, there was a calling towards something new, something different, a big change, right? So I feel like this person has sat on this long enough, thought about this long enough, that it created a vision for them in their mind as to what they wanted to go towards in their future. And I feel like this person has manifested that or is in the process of manifesting that is this is past energy, right? So they're giving me the song, Don't Worry About a Thing. I don't know if there was a lot of worry around the connection or maybe this person was worrying about if their manifestation was going to come true. But I feel like there's a vision here that this person has had for themselves that is ready to be realized and ripen the energy. So let's go deeper and see how you are perceiving each other in the now moment. Let's pull it to the present moment. I don't mean to keep singing that song. <laughs> It's stuck on replay in my head. All right. Uh, Eight of Pentacles, the magician. The magician. The tower, the four of cups, the sun, the strength card. Holy cow, I didn't mean to get this many out. The queen of cups. I feel like this is a separate message here. So Aquarius, you've been uh, doing a lot of work on yourself as well and manifesting big changes as well for yourself. Some of these changes I feel you being a little bit melancholy about, right? Like sometimes things change and we're not quite ready for them or we know that we need to change or move away from something, but we still care, you know? So I feel like there is a little bit of that going on. But at the same time, you know, it's taken you a lot of strength to move towards your own happiness because change is hard, especially for a fixed sign like us, Aquarius. Um, even though, you know, Aquarius energy is very out of the box and future forward, at the same time, you are a fixed element. So you do kind of like stability and kind of shy away from change at times, but I feel like there's something here that you knew had to change in order for you to truly honor your path or honor where it is that your heart was leading you, Aquarius, and it took a lot of strength to do that. I think sometimes there's a sense of regret or looking back, but I, I feel like don't let that overpower you, Aquarius. You made those decisions for a reason. You were guided all along the way. And regret is kind of a useless emotion because no matter how you feel about your prior choices, you have no ability to change that 
in the now moment and looking back at that and thinking you've gotten you got something wrong is your higher self is never going to agree with you in that and it's always going to feel terrible when you think that because that's not the truth you did exactly what you were guided to do in the moment that got you to your now moment and you're never not being guided so uh, there's a need to let go of some remorse here Aquarius so let's go into this person's now energy the Emperor the Emperor the four of cups The Chariot and the Ten of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. So Aquarius, this person, um, there's a sense of naivety showing up here. I'm not sure if that's coming through on your end or their end, but um, <laughs> that's the word I got. I feel like, you know what, this person has been a little bit unfocused in their past, right? But that's all different now. I feel like they're laser focused at this point in time. And they have a vision for what they want. Um, and they're going into this space of empowerment, right? But I feel like this person, I don't know if they get, they get bogged down in the details. Um, a little too much, a little hyper fixated to the point where it's almost distracting. Um, <laughs> yeah, there's some need to clear out some of their mental space uh, right now, but they are looking to move forward. I feel like this person has maybe withheld some things, you know, waiting for the right timing or waiting for things to kind of fall in place, but they've thought long and hard about this Aquarius and what they may want to manifest and they have a vision about it and they are ultimately going to decide to kind of clear the slate and move forward here and I feel like that's what's coming through next for this person. So let's go deeper into the emotional space then. Hold on a second. So I'm getting the phrase, are you just going to ignore the fact, ignore the facts? You're just going to ignore the facts. <laughs> I hope there's a little bit of rose colored glasses going on here or where that came from. But let's go into the emotional space, the Knight of Wands, the Ten of Wands, the Six of Wands. Holy cow. Make me feel like you're almost showing up like a fire sign. Some of you might have fire in your heavy in your chart, but even if you don't, it's just this very passionate, direct, almost blunt energy showing up here, Aquarius. Um, I feel like you're ready to take some action here, even if it means you know, hard work, or even if it's difficult for a little bit, I feel like you're willing to withstand that if it means that there's success for you on the other side. Some of you feel so strongly intuitively led to make some sort of move or change uh, in your life. And there, it's, it's like you almost know that there's no looking back and that it may be difficult, but just still willing to go towards it because you feel it's on your path because you feel so strongly about it you feel a very strong pull towards it or a desire towards it and it's almost like you can't deny it and see that's how you know when something is on your path at least that's been my experience if i have a person or a goal or a, a job or something pop up in my environment and i feel fixated, drawn towards it, um, you know, 
yeah, I can't even, I can't even describe what it feels like, but it's such an intense attraction to it that I, without a doubt, know, no matter how it seems on the surface, that it is on my path, that I was meant to meet that person, or I was meant to be in that location, I was meant to take that job, whatever, whatever. And vice versa, when you're feeling a little bit like eh, wishy-washy or like you could take it or leave it, probably not your person, probably not your path. You know what I mean? Because when it's your, when it's on your path, you know, you know what I mean? And, and the reason why I'm elaborating on that is because that's what I feel like is going on. It's like there's a knowing here deep within you that you know what's up. So let's see what's going on in this person's emotional space. The Page of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles, And the seven of pentacles. So in this person's heart space, they're ready to invest. You know, they're ready to commit. They're ready to kind of reach for what they want. They're in this space of being open, open to new love, open to new ways of doing things, open to new friendships, open to a new life, right? This person has, like I said, I keep wanting to say vision board. They might actually literally have a vision board, but Energetically speaking, it's like this person has imagined, fantasized, vision, uh, visionized, I don't know if that's a word, <laughs> um, what it is that they want. And there was a little bit of withholding here, but not, but, but not f only because of timing or something like that. And, but in their heart space, it's like they're ready. Okay, so this person is ready to kind of reach for what it is that they want. And not only that, they're willing to commit and to invest themselves into whatever this is. So let's go into the future energy and see what's going on. Most likely future outcomes for my Aquarius. <laughs> a little bit of a yawn there. Five of Wands. <laughs> Page of Wands. Yeah, lots of fire out. Man, if you have a fire element in your sun, moon, rising, or Venus, it is sure coming to the forefront right now. So, Aquarius... There's a little bit of an internal struggle here because, again, you're feeling called towards a desire, but there's uncertainty around it. There's no guarantee around it. Some of you aren't even sure why you feel the way that you feel. You just know you do, you know, and trying to figure out, is this good for me? Is this bad for me? Let me tell you, there's nothing that you're going to attract into your life that is not for you. We live in a law of attraction universe, not a law of insertion universe. So whether you're attracting good or bad experiences, you are the primary attractor of it. And all of it is on your path. There's nothing that happens to you that is not on your path. It cannot be any other way. So when we come into change or new experiences and we're trying to feel it out, a lot of the insecurity around it is trying to figure out, is this good for me or is this bad for me? And Spirit is saying, it's for you, period. You decide if it becomes good or bad, right? Because in the early stages of anything new manifesting, there's opportunity for it to go either way or be a mixed bag. And what determines that? how you choose to focus, and how you choose to feel about what you manifested, right? So there's like this evaluation period here where you may be going back and forth trying to decide like, is this good for me? You know, is this something I want? And I feel like Aquarius, some of you, it's like, 
should I go with my passions or should I go with my heart? And, and Spirit is saying, it's all right to ask yourself these questions, but there is a way for you to have passion and your heart on board that you do not need to choose here. What else? Yeah, the hermit. So there's like some self-reflection needed around the situation before you make any judgments. Uh, there is, ooh, what is this? So be careful to Aquarius about letting this back and forth get to you so bad that it actually causes an, a disagreement or a conflict or an argument with someone that's up close to you uh, or this person. Like, I mean, there's growth and development in it. I'm not even sure you can avoid this because there's all kinds of weirdness going on with retrogrades and eclipses and stuff. <laughs> but it's like, um, listen to your intuition before you act on anything because some of you, it's almost like you kind of have your guard up a little bit. Um, there is like, there's something here that has the potential to develop both with what you're passionate about, but also with what or who you love. But there's also a potential of it not going well or you getting hurt. So they want me to bring it back to the initial message. Well, what decides which outcome is going to be most likely for me? And Spirit wants to remind you that you are the ultimate decider. And how are you deciding? By how you choose to perceive it by how you choose to think about it and about how you choose to feel. If you're perceiving a person and you're seeing all of their potential problems as opposed to the reasons why you love them, you will call forth to you the shadow part of them. And vice versa, if you're focused on all the reasons why you love them and not all of the problems, then you call forth to you their light side. We we call forth to us the part of people that we are a match to based on how we perceive them and what we think about them. I, I hope I'm not like going too deep into this, but I want you to understand that that's really what determines the outcome. It's not written in stone and unchangeable. You're writing the story right now with the way that you're thinking and feeling about it. But there is divine timing here. There's a lesson here in empowerment in independence and and at the same time, softness. So really interesting message. Let's see what this person's most likely future outcome is. Three of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles, Four of Wands, and the Queen of Swords, the Lovers at the bottom of the deck. So this person is in the space of wanting to see things come together and to shed some light also on their own experiences. Like, I feel like this person has thought a lot about where they want to invest their time and energy, what they're worth. Um, their value and is looking for like like-minded people, people that they can connect with, people they can network with. Um, they're in this very like social energy and maybe wanting to get out there a little bit more Aquarius or if you're in a relationship, maybe take you out. All right. Um, <laughs> I feel like this person is looking for a reason to celebrate and they're going to find one. And I feel also a lot of love coming from this person's side, them feeling lucky in love. And it's like they feel lucky and they're in love or when they're in love, they feel lucky. Maybe they feel lucky to have loved you or to love you, Aquarius. Um, but I just feel like this person's luck is changing because something that they once worried about or fixated on in the past 
has now become active in their energy and it's a vision they have and they're getting ready to go towards that and become more available and receptive because of the work they've done on themselves because they're in a space of empowerment and it's like because they feel lucky they become lucky or <laughs> you know like the quickest way to call in love to ourselves is to fall in love with our life as it currently is or fall in love with self because anytime you can generate that emotional response of being in love you call it to you and I feel like that's something that's happened here between the two of you or you know individually it doesn't matter but uh, you know that's kind of what the gist of it is so <laughs> wow Aquarius let's get a guidance card out then guidance card your person has the card of seek and you have dream talk this says the power of spirit exists in all things everything is made of energy every single thing in the physical world contains a fragment of spirit including you we are all one and we are all connected so there's a reminder that there's nobody in your experience that you are not somehow connected to and that reminder is not just for you, it is for the cross watcher. For you, Aquarius, they're saying to pay attention to your dreams. They may be subtly speaking to you or providing you signs. I personally keep a dream journal and sometimes the craziest dreams actually end up making sense later. So never scoff them off. <laughs> scoff, I made a rhyme. Uh, never scoff at your own dreams, no matter how ridiculous they are, write them down and they may make sense later. So Aquarius. I'm going to leave it there for now. Zodiac signs you might be connecting with or having your own chart. I've got Virgo here. Uh, Aries, Pisces. Um, Cancerian energy. Aries again. Scorpio. Uh, Leo and Libra. Those are the primary signs I'm seeing. But keep in mind, it is a general reading, so take what resonates, leave what doesn't. If it did resonate, please do let me know in the comments down below. Also, don't forget to give me a like, share, and subscribe if you haven't yet. You can find me on Facebook and Instagram for more fun stuff as I do have videos and content over there. Come join me over there, please, please, please. All of it linked in the description box below. Tarot Time with Dana is the name of all my social media links. Otherwise, I'm wishing you the very best, Aquarius. And until next time, my friends. Namaste.